After years of searching the world, I have finally done it. I have in my possession the entire book. Yes, this book is a collection of the stories and history of tires and well, stories of tire plight and triumph. However, this book can be very dangerous if not read correctly. Tires tell a story, but misreading the story can make the reader come to the wrong conclusion about tire-related issues, like what causes tread to wear unevenly or prematurely. In this video, let's discuss the factors that cause premature or uneven tread wear. How long are my new tires supposed to last? Get that question a lot. There's no easy way to answer this, as there are a lot of variables that can affect tire wear. For example, some premium tire wear bars may not even show up until after 50,000 miles, though other lower tier tires may not last as long. Tire tread longevity also depends on factors like wear resistance of the rubber compound, the design of the tread, and stiffness of the belts. Theoretically, the higher the tread wear index number on the side of the tire, the longer the tread life. However, tread wear life also depends on attributes like tire balance, maintenance like ensuring the tires are rotated every 5,000 miles or so, wheel alignment, road conditions, and how your customer drives their vehicle. Your customers need to know that if a tire isn't balanced, the vehicle is misaligned, or tires haven't been rotated at the recommended intervals, a tire can never reach its full mileage potential. They may not even consider it, but driving conditions and how the customer drives day to day can really affect tread wear as well. Aggressive driving or road conditions like potholes can and will burn off rubber faster. If customers come in with complaints of premature or uneven tire wear, make sure you inspect the tires for visual signs of damage like cuts, scrapes, or missing chunks of tread. In this case, a replacement is definitely needed. However, some issues like damage inside the tire can't be seen, like damage that causes steering pull or vibration. If that's the case, run some diagnostics and see if the tire needs balanced or aligned. While inspecting, if you notice the tread is worn more in the middle than on the edges, the tire may be overinflated or even mounted on a narrow rim. However, if both tread shoulders are more worn than the middle of the tread, the tire might be underinflated or showing wear from hard cornering. The common solution to these problems is properly inflating tires to the recommended placard levels. For more tire and service videos, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. I'm Christian Hinton, coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Garage Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.